Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Flores Expanded. Now, I have actually gone into Suno and placed a couple of items in the chest there so that now I can commence automatic selling unless I find, obviously, an item that is useful. So, apart from that, Byron does actually need to level, so... Now it is just a really tough choice on what we should actually level up, because most of the skills I actually wanted to level up are rather high as it is. So maybe we'll go for athletics, or we may try to get some in power throw maybe, because as we have seen in other series of mine, power throw is really nice, and using it with throwing weapons are quite fun, so I might end up leveling that. So yes, let's actually do that because I think riding is quite fine at the moment. The athletics is rather good as well. Shield is six. That's pretty good as well. Hmm. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. And on that note, I do actually have to find Artimena and hopefully I will try to run around every single town that I possibly can and try to find him in a tavern somewhere. But for now, I think we will continue to level our strength. Should we? Yes, I think so. And then we'll go for one in power throw, and eventually be able to use throwing weapons. So that will be quite cool. Now, I did actually check Uxkarl, Suno, and Praven taverns for Artie Mena, but there was no sign of him, unfortunately. So hopefully another time when we are not being beset upon by the Saranids and the Kingdom of Swadia, because if you recall, the Kingdom of Swadia made an alliance with the Saranids, and they have now both declared war against us. So I'm hoping they won't be too much of a threat, because as you can see, the Saranids only own a handful of fiefs, and yes, as we know already, the Swadians don't own anything, so I'm not entirely sure where the threat is going to come from, but hopefully it won't be too dire for us to stop sieging against the Rodox. And speaking of that, we're going to head into Urgalon Castle and attempt to capture it. And, wow, that's a shame. Okay, your recruiter who was commissioned to recruit 50 recruits to Suno has been defeated. Ah, that's annoying. Okay. Well, not too bad. We do have an amazing amount of troops there, so I don't think it's really too much trouble, but that is a thousand dinars that I just lost there, but I suppose that is what I somewhat get for not making sure that my lands are safe, as it were, but yes. Mm. Speaking of that, I would like to send out a message and hopefully get some of my vassals to assist us in these sieges, so that there is a possible chance that most of my units won't get completely destroyed because at the moment all I am doing is risking my army so maybe we could get some cooperation going on here that would be rather nice I think let's get some crossbow action going on as well it's been a long time since we've used this crossbow I have to say and it's quite nice to get back to it so let's attempt to hit that guy oh nice headshot okay I was not expecting that but thank you very much Byron you're doing a very good job oh yes and, oh my, yes, another one of our forces got that kill there. And maybe this one as well? No. Uh, oh well. We are rather good with our archer forces, I have to say. Cavalry and archers, that's what we are good at, apparently. And why is no one going up this ladder? Maybe I should go up here. Should I? <laughs> oh no, it's risky. It's a very small ladder, and if I get shot once, I am going to be totally pushed off. Oh my, okay. Wow, this is actually very easy for us. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's reload and rain down a lot of bolts upon them. Yes. Oh my. Or maybe miss. That might be a good idea as well. Yes. Come on. There we are. Okay, 60 damage. Not bad. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's see. If we can get... Hmm, I'm not too sure. Should I continue to pick off their archers? I think that's probably going to be a better idea than actually trying to assist our infantry because they seem perfectly fine at the moment. And as you can see, we are being pelted to the max by their crossbowmen. There are a lot of them, after all, so we may have some issues with them if we allow them to continue. And just as I say that, we have a couple of infantry going down there to take them out. 
Hopefully he will survive. Oh, and just as I say that, he dies. Oh, of course. But he is against level fours, so yeah, that is a rather tricky situation. Take him down. Yes, good work, Byron. And who are we being shot by? We're being shot by someone. Okay, let's get in cover over here. Reload. And then try and take these guys out if we can. Yes, there we are. Level three taken down. And our units are doing quite a good job. And speaking of units, I actually need to get my archers in here. This would be a very good idea. Not to neglect them, as it were. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe I forgot them for so long. Come in here, archers, and show us what you're made of. Ah, there we are. They are starting to shoot once again. They have not yet run out of arrows, which is a great sight to see indeed. So let's actually go over here, try to distract their archers a little bit, and assist our infantry slash cavalry, and see what we can do. Oh my, wow, this slave hunter is actually doing a really good job. And as soon as I say that, he's down. Yes. Well, that's my luck, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh no, there's three of them. Okay, well, my shield is absolutely impressive, so we shouldn't worry too much about it breaking as yet. So let's just take our time and take them down. Oh yes, and there we go. That was the last three kills of the battle. Yes, Byron had that honor. Oh yeah, good work. Now, how many did we lose? 29 to death. Wow, okay. We must have sent in some very costly units. Yes, that's exactly why I wouldn't mind getting one of our vassals. I believe the only vassal we have is Floris, so it would be quite nice if he would come to assist us. Let's try and do that after we take all of these rescued prisoners. Oh my! Mounted bandits, 54! I would really like to take all of these just because of the sheer volume of them. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. Let's take some manhunters, because apparently that increases our prisoner management skill. Ah, maybe that's slave hunters. Hmm, instead of manhunters. Okay, well, let's see now. Hmm, mountain bandits are technically level threes. So, let's take a caravan master. And some mercenary swordsmen. And I guess we'll take the mountain bandits then. They become some very good units, I think. But they could be Rodok units, and that would, in turn, reduce our morale, which would be terrible. But we can only try, so that will be fine. And... Should I look here? No, I don't think there's really anything. So let's just let our forces take anything they like, and then we will automatically pick it up. Okay, so, let's see. We have taken Ogolon Castle, and I would like to give it to Floris once again, so he can very easily garrison it. Oh yes, and oh yeah, those dinars are absolutely amazing. Look at that, 4,000 added to the treasury, just like that. That is awesome, and oh my. Hmm, what is he doing here? Well, it doesn't seem like he wants to pick a fight, so I think we will leave him be for now. I think the Nords are actually at war, as you can see, with the Rodox, so this is actually a very good time for us to launch these sieges against them. Oh yes. Okay, so the only time I'm actually going to return here is if I see a message that tells me it's under siege. So for now, I will take Grunwalder as I would like to move closer to Veluca, as taking Veluca would be a huge blow to the Rodok Republic, and whoa. Okay, they don't actually have very many forces garrisoned at Grunwalder, so we may be in luck. Let's do it. Oh my, and it is a ladder castle as well. Very lucky indeed. Okay. So, oh, Lezalit has advanced to level 6, so I'll have to do that after this fight. Oh, yes. Okay. So, oh my, this is a rather grand castle, I have to say. I think this is actually one of the first castles we defended, or we took from one of our enemies as a Rodok vassal, if my memory serves correctly, or it could be the fact that this looks very similar to that one, which is most likely the case. As you can see, it does not run along a river like the other one I am thinking of. So, my apologies, yes. Okay, so, let's do some damage with our crossbow. Oh my, maybe not, okay. A little bit higher than that, I think. There we are, oh, I actually thought that hit him there, okay. 
try it again. And, oh my, really? Okay. Well, maybe I'm not as good with a crossbow as I thought. So I'll have to take the closer targets. Ugh, that's a disappointing revelation right there. Okay. Well, instead of doing this, I'm actually going to head in. Because we want to see the castle design. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this already. This is a very nice change, I have to say. Look at this. We're actually running through the castle instead of fighting over one wall. That is great. Okay, never mind. We're fighting over one wall right now, so I suppose... Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Scratch what I said. We have two ladders, so that is much better. Oh, yes. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get in there and teach them to mess with the Swadian rebels. Well, technically we are the Swadian rebels still until the Kingdom of Swadia dissolves, I believe. If I am correct in some of your comments. Oh my. Whoa, okay, this is not where we want to be, and yeah. <laughs> yes, we definitely want to shoot these guys and try to take them out so that they don't take advantage of our vulnerable position at the top of the ladder there. As you can see, we got pelted so heavily that it was almost impossible to actually advance, so that was not great. Come on, let me hit this guy. Yes, thank you very much, and our forces are actually not doing that well, which I am starting to worry about now. Okay, come on. Come on. Wow, I actually thought we would win this a lot simpler than this. Huh. Okay, whoa. This is not going well. Hmm, I would like to get up there again, but as you can see... Yeah, I don't know. Should I? Hmm. Difficult decision. Oh, yes, nice. Okay, if I can take this guy out, then I might. There we are. Okay, I'm going to get up there now. I find it really surprising. Look at this. Level 7s, level 4s, level 3s are all getting taken out by the same levels. So, hmm. Interesting. Rather, yeah, I see what they mean now. Okay, yes, the crossbowmen up there are doing a hell of a lot of damage, and that is the only reason why we are currently taking so many losses. So, let's try to take them out, shall we? Send our own strike force in the form of Byron Bertold up here. Let's do it. Oh, yes, take that guy down, and this one... There we are. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Come on, let's do it. Bring it on, crossbowman. Oh, yes. One of my serenid infantrymen are helping me out here. Don't get taken out, though. Don't get taken out. Don't give them another free kill. Yes, okay, there we go. I think we have finally broken their defenses. So I'm hoping this will be the final batch of units that we actually fight here. Come on. Stab him. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's time to go up to the crossbowmen and take them out once and for all. I can only hope that is what will end up occurring anyway. <laughs> Unless I fall off, which could potentially happen. Come on, take him down. Oh, yeah. Ow. Okay, that hurt. They're trying to divide me. No. No. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, let's jump down here. And, whoa. Well, we took four damage, but that's not enough to take me out. And, oh, my. Okay. Got to be careful here. Okay, that's good. Only low-level units now. My shield is about to get completely destroyed. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, take them all down, Byron. Come on, take them all down. Take them all down. Yes. Going well so far. Going well. 
And ooh. Oh, damn. Uh, level three. Ugh, that grinds my gears. <laughs> okay, well, we took out quite a few, so I'm happy with that progress, and now my forces can finish this guy off. This is actually a very good castle design for the defenders. If they can get a ton of their archers on these two towers here, they can rain down death upon the attackers. And they did so, as you can see by our casualty report. Oh my, look at that. We had 75 deaths. Oh my, 55 wounded. That is insane. Okay, well, we killed 40. Byron killed 40 personally, so that's rather good. So, Baron Sabula escapes, so that is a shame. Now, I would really like it if I could take some slave drivers. Yes, there we are, more prisoner management, great. So it's not manhunters, but it is slave drivers, okay. Good, I have that straight in my head now. Now, let's see. I want to take a few of these. I actually want to take all of these because we have the space. Oh yes, a desert bandit's not bad. There we go, great. And we want to now take as many high levels as possible. There we are, good. Oh yes, okay, let our heroes select that and let's just take a look real quick. Yes, no, that's fine. Let our heroes collect everything. And now, let's see. This is another castle. I would really like to give this to Floris again because I would really like to only have towns under my watch because they are very important and yeah, I think that would probably be the best idea. So let's go with another castle for him. He's going to be very powerful, isn't he? And if he leaves, it's going to be terrible for us. Oh my goodness. Let us hope he doesn't. Okay. So there we are. That now has 55 units stationed at it. And I believe there are a couple of Rodok vassals around here, all running from us. So that's rather good. Hopefully this Nord vassal is going to keep them busy for quite a while. So I will end this episode off here. And next time on Flores Expanded, I hope to extend our territory to Veluca and potentially weaken the Rodox rather severely, I would hope, and then maybe move on to Jalkala, as we own quite a bit of land there, and that would give us quite a cash injection. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.